Hey folks, welcome back to Channel Farm Food Stream here. Here we are on our 10,000 cow challenge, and so far we have set up the farm. We have got all this feed here ready for our cows, because we have a look at our cows. We've got 1,200 cows here, but they've got no feed, no bedding whatsoever. That's going to be resolved because we've got our fields over here, we've got our barley and lentils. I'm hoping when we harvest the lentils, we get some straw from it, but to be honest, I am not sure on that. At the very least, we'll get straw from the barley. But yeah, this is going to be our... that's our barley there. So let's go and harvest these lentils. And I'm praying we'll get straw from this. Do we get straw? Thank hell for that! <laughs> We've got straw on that. But yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to need some money, because at the moment we're at 40 grand. I've done the contract on field 9. That gave us 9 grand in income for harvesting, and 15 grand for the contract itself, so 24 grand. Also, we got 29 grand for the frozen contract to do. And after last episode, I did lease this to the Kubota DSXW Dual Spread. 40 meters, 3,900 meter capacity at 11 miles an hour, so that should be good enough for us, but first of all, I want to see how much straw we can get from this, and how much lentils, because lentils, I think we will sell afterwards. And I do apologize if I said lentils, I meant to <laughs> see, I don't know why I said lentils and that, but at the moment, the price is at so it's we're in August and that, so... Price is going to be pretty crap in that, so if we can hold on to the seeds a bit longer, that'd be good. But yeah, we're at 55 grand now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some gambles here. So, first of all, I want to borrow another tractor in that. Also, we need a cultivator in that because we've got a plow. That's good. However, we need a cultivator, so. Because, yeah, in terms of cultivators and that, I'm thinking of going, if I've got any swords, yeah, this one here, the Lando, 731 and that. Basically, this one here can do mulching and cultivating at the same time. 300 horsepower required, leasing off 4 grand. So, yeah, I think we need to go to those tractors and look at one that is decently priced in that. That's got 300 horsepower because... Ooh, there's this one here, the John Deere 8030 in that. And yeah, got a short version, I'm guessing that's like the long wheeled version in that. Because yeah, looking at some of our other options, we, yeah. So I'm thinking 185 grand, but we need at least 300 horsepower. 226. 234262. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something maybe a little bit controversial. Also, we've got our cotton and soybean fields. However, if we look at our crop window, soybeans they're not gonna be ready for some time. None of our cotton. Now cotton's not gonna be ready till October. And same with our soybeans. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell both of these fields. And I'm going to purchase field 5, or plot 3 or whatever, because that's got silage in. Well, that's got corn that can be used for me silage. And if you look at the fields, there's any other fields ready to harvest. There's 3 and 6. And what are they? Because if they're straw that, you know what? I'm going to gamble. Because we need all the straw we can. Well, I will be doing field flipping. However, what I'm going to do is, instead of, you know, doing the harvest or whatever, and then selling, I will get the crops, get the straw, and I'll make sure I replant the fields before I sell it. Don't need to fertilize it. So yeah, we're going to get a lot of density from this, so we're going to need a lorry and trader. And yeah, do have some limited options, so think instead, think if we go with traders and that. Let's look at what trader we can get first of all, see what I've got installed in that. And to be honest, something with a... Yeah, we could use a tractor with a dolly in that. Or, do, yeah, do we just go with a lorry in that? So, underbelly in that. 
120,000 liters. I think, to be honest, that is going to be a good option for us. So, I'm thinking BKT tires, twin mills, and they can do steering as well. In terms of other options than that, I'm going to leave it as is. Maybe change the car slightly. Yeah, something like a light blue in that. Something. Actually, no, let's go with a bit of a green. There we go. So now we need to find a lorry. Because, yeah, this is full and this is going to take a while to do. And, yeah, we decided on the Lizard Revolution here. I thought it was a nice little truck here. And, yeah, 650 horsepower. And, yeah, full horse ride. Get all the harvesting done. So all of our fields have been completed. Also, we've done some little contract work, so fertilizing has been done. Also, we did cultivate field 9. And yeah, in terms of what we're leasing, I did lease the New Holland 380 Genesis. Because yeah, I thought we're having a buying tractors and that. So I'm thinking for a year or two, leasing will be a bit more profitable than that. So I thought, heck it, let's do that instead. So. Yeah, we need to hop over here because we've got everything we need. We've got our bale loader here and we've got our baiter. And one thing I want to do before the night falls is get some bells done because, yeah, we need bells now. We need feed and need bedding for our cows. So, get a new horn here. Oh, it helps if you unfold it. That's so your first time doing Heston bells, so. I'm interested in the size of this and that. Yes, yeah, well, in terms of the working width. If anything, down the road, we may go with a other baiters than that. But yeah, I think it was going to be over a 10,000 litre bell. Then this 50% almost. So that's what, 6,500, 12, 13,000 litre short bells? So. Overall, not too bad, not too shabby. Or do we say instead go with a different beater? Honestly, I'm thinking, <laughs> I know we've got this beater now. I think we own this one. We do, so. 73 grand. Oh, yeah, I'm keeping all the money at the moment because. Yeah, actually, what I want to do first of all is unload you. Then hop over here because can we actually even load the bell up with this? Because yeah, we know we've got the tape handler in that. But yeah, there's a reason why I got this and if it can't load up Heston Bells then Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit problematic. Because yeah, just in general in terms of ease of use and that because we're going to have a lot of fun with this, so... Ah, uh, yeah, as expected. Bell types all supported, so... Yep, the Hester Bader was good. But I'm thinking we're going to need something else. It's alright, gone with this. And uh, yeah, these are one of those like, high-density Baders and that. And I've already cocked up here, because I was going to hopefully aim to have these all linked up together, but... Yeah, different hook systems. I thought that was going to be a three point linkage. Nope, that is a pin hook, so. Bear with me a sec whilst I get that slightly reconfigured. There we go. Now we're proper baiting now, so yeah, some minor adjustments now, but. Yeah, it was a little adjustment here and there, a little attitude adjustment now, but. So yeah, now it is 20 past 5. And yeah, we're bailing, we're making some large bells and that, so... Because yeah, we've got 1,200 cows to deal with, so... I think we're going to need a lot of shortness. And yeah, in terms of props and that... I think we've got, yeah, actually, have a little quick look and... 
Obviously, you've got 120,000 years of wheat. Oh, sorry, barley. So, yeah, we've got about 260 or so thousand years of barley, 57,000 years of wheat, and for linseed, not lentils. Why are on I said lentils? I have no idea why. 167,000. So, overall, decent hold. They're all inside apart from the one in the lorry net. But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, just keep these over the winter and that. And yeah, we'll get some huge bells from this. Slightly larger than what you're used to that, but this is a customizable bell and that. And these are like super, super duper dense bells and that, so... Is that 25,000 years? Nope. 26. 27,000 year bells we're doing, so... That is one bell down. And trust me, we've got many more bells to go with this. And yeah, I'm thinking, can we get this all done before nightfall? At the very least, we need to put some bells in on all the animal pens and that. And unfortunately, we've got four animal pens, so really what we need to do is... Just put some in here, put some in there, put some in there, and some in there. Also, what I've done as well, Field 29, that's all been wind road or tethered and wind road. That actually is bathing as well, so to be honest, we're good to go pretty much. Yeah, I did put some such as if in here and that because, yeah, I'm thinking with this, can we do TMR bells, not TMR bells, like chaff bells and that, and then wrap them up to ferment. I'm not too sure actually in that, but yeah, what the better bale yeah, the one I'm using is this one here. The case one has been slightly customized colour wise. But yeah, 50 miles an hour. Only requires 230 horsepower, so to be honest the idea of leasing out the well, well this it's a bit of a kind of a waste in the end because Yeah, no don't have access to the field in that. Yeah, I'm thinking I spent what, 20 round this this? Maybe what we can do instead is, I don't know, sell a small class and that. But yeah, that's a good tractor that it's 350 horsepower for a very low budget in that, so I don't know, I'll keep this until September and that at least. Is that bell number two or three? Not too sure now, that, but yeah, I think what she needs to do now is crack on. Just keep on getting a bunch of these loaded up. And then we'll go from there. So let's just show how this works. Okay, zoom in. Love jubbly. Something like that. Yeah, just try to get that one to unload. There we go. So, yeah, we've got two bells already. Hey, I'm thinking if we could just do a stack of each and that. Stack, I think it's 14 bells this will hold. So, yeah, I'm thinking if we could do, say, 14 bells, put them in each side though, because 14 times 27,000 years. That is what, 270,000 years, plus 1428, about, what was it, yeah, 370, 380,000 years of stroll. Why am I not going to get four stacks out of that, I'm not too sure. I think for now, as long as we prioritise the adult cows in that, with the majority of it, because Let's say if you get three full loads and a little bit left in that. Because, yeah, actually, yeah, the Holstein ones are milking cows, 250 of those. They're the only adults we've got. Everyone else is calves, so... In theory, in fun theory, we should be fine in that, I think, overall, but... At the end of the day, this is a massive unknown for me in that, because, yeah, as I mentioned before, 
There's a good chance we can fail this challenge and our cows can die. Quote unquote on that. But yeah, I'm just absolutely nervous at the moment. I think the hay situation, we're going to be fine. Like, ideally, I want to do TMR for our milking cows and that, that are adults. And for the calves and that, just give them hay and that. That's honestly at the moment, that's my impression, that, that's my opinion. But yeah, I need to see how this all goes and that because I think there are some s productions and that that you can have that can let you do hay and straw and that. Get TMR. This ain't one of those, that needs straw. Yeah, straw silage and that, so... Oops, missed a little bit there. Uh, no worries, we'll get that. So, yeah, I think... Leave it to me. Let's get as much of this done as we can. And then, yeah, I'll see you folks in September. By the time we're done with this, because... This is going to take us into the night for sure to get... All straw on three, six, and tw not tw over twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five or sixty. And then yeah, of course you've got the hay situation to deal with. But yeah, I'm optimistic. But yeah, let's see how we stand afterwards at the end of all of this.
in September now and we have done all the bathing. I see we've got our bells zoomed up and we've got 1.15 million years of stroll. And yeah, in terms of the hay nat, we got about 900,000 years and I'll give them to the cows and at the moment they're alright. The cow pen could do with some more. Yeah, they could do with a little bit more straw in that, but for now. I think things are looking good, but again, I am tempted for our Holstein cows here. The ones that are our milking cows. I was going to really tempted to purchase TMR because I have noticed if we go into our store section here, under paddocks, go towards over here, we do have some options for cheap TMR. 5,000 years for a grand, so. Which, in the short term, may be good. But yeah, over the course of, you know, a year, two, three years and that, until they're fully grown. On the case of our milking cows, two years. Yeah, I'm not sure, so... I think what I'll do for now is just a kind of PDA. Yeah, I think we'll just take these back to the farm. Put these in storage and that. Just gotta be careful to wait, cause yeah, these are heavy bells here, so come out of the fields and one thing I'm just gonna do is shut the gate up. There we go. But yeah, so we're in three day months now with September and that starting. So yeah, it gives us plenty of room to do things because we need to get all of our fields cultivated and drilled. Especially if we want to do grass again, I'm thinking, to be honest, to be fair, if we look at our crop calendar, I'll say if we do, I don't know, let's say a massive batch of grass over the winter and that. Because yeah, grass stops growing in November, so if we plant grass now, that's going to be ready to cut in November. And I'm thinking in April and that we get our second cut and then we can do our winter barley in that or spring barley sorry and yeah that'll be ready to harvest in September and that I'm actually asking if we do barley now I think we'll do barley now because I think with 1.5 million years of straw that is again I'm not sure how long these are going to last for because that's the thing the first couple of years on the farm now is going to be pretty tough, I think. Because, yeah, what I want to do is, yeah, let the cows breed in that. But also, maybe purchase more cows ourselves in that. But, yeah, either we need to find a way to transform over ourselves in that. Or do we say, bite the cost and get someone to deliver it to us at a premium fee? To be honest, I don't know. Like honestly, I generally don't know. But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, well, a lot of work ahead of us. And yeah, I want to get this farm all set up in that, get us all cracking on. But yeah, for now, we'll put our straw in storage here. So, but yeah, remember these are the bigger bells. Obviously, if you're using your average bell sizes this would be what four times the amount of bells we're putting in basically so here we go and put those last three in so yeah how much is that so that's 32 bells so that would have been what 64 128 normal bell sizes yeah, I think we've still got one Hester Bell on field 3 in that. But, anyways, I want to focus on getting these contracts done. We'll do those ahead of the next episode. So we've got two drink contracts, canola and linseed, and then some side contract for 22. Going to the forest dealer now, that's by the store, and to be honest, I'm just going to sell those side bells. But yeah. At the moment, everything's looking good. So everything's all hunky dory in that. But yeah, I'm thinking because we've got our cornfield here. 
we look at what's ready in that. So yeah, have a look. Nothing's ready to harvest in that. Yeah, I think it was that. Soybeans, soybeans are a month out. So there's a corn here. And I know we did a frozen contract on this. That is sunflower. But yeah, thinking next time what we'll do is we'll get this cornfield harvested. Because yes, if we have a look and in terms of frozen and that, we have a look. It is fully fertilized and that, and yeah, good yield bonus and that of 98%. So, think if we chaff that, and then what we can do is use our productions we've got available. So, for one, then we're going to be using the biogas plant. That is a slow production though, so. But, anyways, all we need to make silage, and we're going to use our. Uh, what's this one called? The farm productions and that. So yeah, we get chaff now, get a bit of methane, and methane, pretty sure we can sell methane, right? Is that a storable item? It is. Obviously, could have, should have put straw in here maybe, get some, you know, keep sides in there. And then for our next cut, we get some hay and do some TMR that way. But yeah, that's, that's very hay heavy as well, so... Again, I am torn on what to do in that. Obviously, we've got a bit of manure and stir at the moment, so we can sell those. But one thing I want to look at is the prices for things like methane. That is methane a. Obviously, we know it's a sellable item in that. But does it come up on here? So, got our jams in that, gold in that, diamonds. But yeah, no sell point for methane. Interesting. But yeah, I think, anyways, we'll figure things out. Also, down the road, I want to get some productions in. I know it ain't going to be a heavy production series in that. But yeah, I'm thinking one or two productions, you know, get the flour mill going in that. Or just say screw it and do chickens. But yeah, 100 grand though. Industrial BGA, do we go with that? Even though that's a pretty large, yeah, that's pretty large in that. And yeah, I'm just thinking that mix the mill and that, we can get fertilizer in that, silage, and I think that's a good production that is. But yeah, one thing I want you to do utilize at some point is, you know, <laughs> or at least try to integrate it, is the metals and gem, gem production by Superfly1842. And yeah, just looking at other stuff we've got. But yeah, I think a lot of it is we'll leave it yeah, to us and that. So yeah, we've got our equipment here ready at the station area. Of course we don't own this farm and that. Maybe we shouldn't have. We're gonna use this as the staging area and that. Fuck it, let's go with it. How much is it gonna be like 40 grand or so, I think it is. Not 45 grand, not screw it, so gives access to fuel. Liquid fertilizer as well, so and actually before we go onto the road, one thing I'm going to definitely need is one of these. Because yeah, we don't put mud on the roads and that, especially if there's any motorcycles and that come down the lanes and that. Trust me, I know, I've been caught out in mud on things that so many times. And yeah, when it comes to the lease and stuff, we've got on these at the moment, that including a lot of everything. So we've got our new Holland on these, lorry and that, disc and that. I think the lorry and trailer can be returned soon. I'm going to deliver those. I may say, no, return that one. But yeah, fertilizer spreader will keep because we can do with fertilizer in our grass fields as well. But yeah, so next episode the plan is going to be is get these contracts finished off. I may do that in between episodes and that. But yeah, please get slides on the way in that. Because I do think we can make a lot of money from that. And from that, what we can do next is buy more fields because we need more and more fields than that. 
Ideally, I want to purchase, we'll keep what we've got, but also purchase pots 35 and 36, or fields 13 and 30, but that requires 2.4 mil. And to be honest, <laughs> that's going to be a iffy one, so just go quickly look at the map. So, up here, where is the contract field? Uh, so in, so in bathing, 22, so, oh, that is down there, so, you know what, screw it, we'll go down here, so, but yeah, again, that's nothing I've missed putting on this map, it's the beautiful scenery now, like, how it's all being well implemented together by auction, even than that, but anyways, that's the thing we're leaving today, and that's been a while since I've recorded the first episode, Need to get this episode out ASAP. Spent a couple of days on doing this, and yep, mod reviews as well hasn't helped in that, especially with working, getting home. Then, yep, yeah, especially some of the banging mods we've been having lately, that massive mod drops and that, two big mod drops and that on Friday, and what was it? Yeah, Monday as well, so. But, yeah, anyways. So, yeah. Science work is going to be done, and that, and yeah, we'll get these contracts done. And yeah, hopefully, by the winter, and that, we have two million in the bank account. And then we'll be on our very way. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're nice today. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.